Ho 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 snap guys. Are you ready for this today? Are you? Can you handle it? Did you come prepared? Can you even? That's my question to you. Well I hope you I hope you can. Because you clicked my video, you must be ready. Here we go, guys. What crazy redstone device does Etho have for us today? That's what you're wondering, right? Right? Of course you are. <laughs> We've done the ME system, guys. We've done the crazy coke oven contraption shenanigans. We've even done a talking computer in this series. But this next thing... Guys, look at, look at my face. Look, look at my eyes. Just my eye. Look at my eye. Those things are nothing compared to this. Mark my words. Are you ready? Okay, so this is a little bit complicated. What you gotta do, you take a piece of redstone. Okay. Then you take four pieces of gold. Four. Not three, not five. Four. Alright. This makes a clock. Alright, a redstone clock. It's very complicated stuff, so you better pay attention here. Then we do the slabs. Like so. And then we... Oh man, did I forget? No, I didn't, guys. I remember. I'm a redstone genius. Look at this! Dark oak clock. Dark oak clock. Can you even? That's my question. Where are we going to put this thing? We got to look for a blank wall. That's right, guys. I'm decorating today. <laughs> I decorate. I do it. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. And apparently, it gives us the right time, too. Like, if we sleep right now, it's going to change quite a bit, I think. Do we want to sleep, though? Because we're, we're in the middle of decorating right now. <laughs> um, we got to do, like, lighting and stuff in here, too. That's what I've been doing, guys. We pretty much got this building finished. It's actually huge. Like, this is the biggest building I've made in the fishing village so far. And, uh, where's a good place for a light? Maybe here? Yeah, I like that. That pretty much lights up the whole place here. That's good. Okay. And, oh, <laughs> for some reason I thought I didn't have a jetpack. Uh-huh. That's right, guys. I decorate sometimes. You never see it, but I do it. I'm a good decorator. I passed the test. I know what curtains are. You ask me what a curtain is, I can tell you. Ask me what a doily is. Do it right now. I dare you. I actually don't know what a doily is. <laughs> Alright, what am I doing here? Alright, here we go. Bam! <laughs> Light over there. Maybe over there. A little bit there. I think we need some in the bedroom too. Let's get rid of the torches. Yeah, okay, pro decorating tip for you guys right now. Don't put the light right next to the window. Right? It's an open window because mosquitoes. Mosquitoes will come in. They're attracted to light. You want it as far away as possible. So bam, right there. That's what we're doing. That's a terrible spot. <laughs> Wait a second. No, because I wanted... Well, actually, no, we could maybe put it there, and then we could have a chair. I wanted to put a chair by the table here. Where's the chairs? Um, yeah. Is this a stool? Like, can you actually sit on this? It says stool. It almost looks like an end table, though. Oh, you can sit on that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, come on, guys. Look at this. Next level here. You ready? Bam. Tablecloth. <laughs> oh, Martha Stewart's got nothing on me. Look at this. She doesn't know how to do that. And take it even further. Dinner plates. Yep. That just happened. Alright, so let's get serious here. I'm not actually going to decorate the whole episode. I was just goofing around a little bit. Um, there is one thing more I, I want to show you, though. Then I'm going to finish the rest of the house off camera here. Uh, there is printing press from Bibliocraft. This thing is pretty cool. Wish I had this in my vanilla Minecraft world for the Nexus. <laughs> because what you can do... Oh wait, we need, a, we need a canvas too. Blank canvas. I put in a recipe for this because we'll probably... No! Stop making glass! We got more important things to do right now. Canvas. Yes, okay, let's just make one. Probably be doing this a little bit throughout the series because I like this a lot. Uh, what you do, you put down the painting press. Cool little machine, right? 
you can throw in the canvas here and then you can transfer any of these paintings onto it and bibliocraft comes with a few uh, built into the mod then you got the vanilla ones here and then there's a tab here for custom paintings that's right aha uh -huh. <laughs> so i added a foreman painting here we're gonna throw it in the house oh did it not work painting canvas transfer oh i didn't select it whoops you gotta select it guys obviously come on and then i got a frame to hold it here just a spruce uh printing frame Painting frame? Not printing. <laughs> Let's hop, hop down to the house. Um, yeah, I'll try to finish this off camera. We got a name for the NPC too, by the way. I asked for names, and Dumbledore was suggested. This guy really looks like Dumbledore. But I'm going to play on words it a little bit. We're going to call him Bumblemore. Bumbling is like talking in a confused and awkward manner. So, yeah. <laughs> That's going to be... His his uh, personality. He's going to be awkward and confused. Crazy old man type of thing. Uh, actually, let's put it down here where we'll actually see it. Maybe on the wall here. So what should you do? Put down the painting frame. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh yeah, I should probably tell you how I did this too, by the way. <laughs> uh, if you have a resource pack, you can just drop in a PNG file. And you can, it supports multiple resolutions too. If you want to have like 64 by 64, you can, you can scale it differently. Um, there's rotation, there's aspect ratio options, all built into the mod here. It's pretty cool. You just drop it in either a resource pack or into the mod itself. There's a folder for it in the jar file. Uh huh. <laughs> nice try, Bumblemore. You almost got it there. And there we go, everybody. Check it out. We got the library done. Woohoo! <laughs> Very happy with it. Very happy with how it turned out. So I tried to polish up the exterior a little bit. I didn't focus on it too, too much, but I'm happy with how it turned out, too. Uh, just tried to even everything out as best as I could. Threw some bushes on the roof. Did like a little overhang at the entrance here. And this is what it looks like on the inside now. So it's pretty much the same. Just a few changes. And uh, we got Bumblemore here. He's He's got a little bit of programming to him. So he'll actually walk around the town and stuff now. He's got creepy eyes, man. <laughs> Very creepy. Uh, probably the biggest change was with the upstairs because we got the leaves on the roof now. So this is what it looks like. I think it's pretty cozy. We got our enchanting set up. We got Mistcraft downstairs. This is like the school area, so during the day, Bumblemore, he, he stands like over here, and we'll have a little notch in the chair, and if there's another kid added to our town later, he'll go in this chair here. I think you can sit in these, yeah. Very cool. Um, so I think we're about done with this. There's a couple things i got to work out yet, like I didn't know what to do in this, this display area. I made that big, beautiful display area, and then I had nothing to display. <laughs> Tried throwing an armor stand here. I'm Steve right now, too, by the way. Uh, I think the login is down. Oh, yeah, that actually makes a, a chime every few hours. You can set it to do that. Oh, there we go. Uh-huh. This doesn't feel like it fills out the area quite enough, though, so we might need something else. But, yeah, pretty much done with all this. Uh-huh. Very cool. So let's move on, guys. We are going to uh, maybe do... What should we do? You know, I've been wanting to build like a nether wart farm <laughs> for the last five episodes. It's not uh, It's not really something you would expect, but... Is that a werewolf? Yeah, that is. He's going to convert right now. But uh, for the Pistronic stuff, you see how I got all this stuff exposed still? I need to make the camouflage, and that takes nether warts camo, and we need a lot of this stuff, so we may as well make a farm for it. Okay, well, yeah, I think that's what we'll do here, guys. Should be a fun little project. Uh, I was thinking about what mod we should use to do the farm, and I decided let's try out forestry, because... I've never actually made one of these multi-block farms since they came out, and that was a long time ago. <laughs> so what what we need, I believe, 
we'll have to figure this out together a little bit, uh, but I think we need a three by three of these farm blocks. And you can do it out of stone brick or or like regular brick, sandstone. You got a few choices here. And you also have, I think these are just like the normal blocks, but there's also a few variations. Like there's a gear box. I think that might be for power. There's a hatch for, I think, putting items in it. And then there's a valve probably for water or something. And a farm control is probably the main GUI thing you click on. So we'll, I'm going to make one of each of those at least. And it looks like we need these tin tubes. So from my past memory, we need one of these. <laughs> Let's hope that's still true. I Did I add a recipe for it? I thought I did. No. Oh, maybe I just pre-made the items for it. That's what I did. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Very good, Etho. You, you are wise. All right. Let's grab a little bit of extra glass. So I think with this, you had to melt the glass. You got to power it and melt the glass. So let's just maybe connect it to our, our mess of wires here. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, we'll give it a little bit of glass. So it takes a while to heat up, and then it melts. And then those tubes aren't very difficult to make. I think you just throw tin in, right? Tin and redstone. Okay, and that gives us four. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. No problem. No problem. Let's just try one together here, and then I'll I'll get the rest of the stuff ready. All right, so redstone should have lots of tin in our system. Just about out of iron again, though. I'm going to have to do some mining soon. All right. Um... Maybe later today, if we have time, I've been considering what to do for our uh, Thomcraft base, like thinking of ideas. I think we're going to go for a larger build. Actually, we probably need a few of these. Let's just make a bunch. Um, I was considering making it out of marble, though, so maybe... What am I doing? <laughs> Talking and doing things at the same time is not my strong suit. There we go, we're good. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll build our Thomcraft base out of marble. Because marble is a pretty nice block. It's kind of, kind of whimsical-ish. Right? <laughs> it's, a, it's a bright white, and then we're going to have the light blue and the light purple in the area. I think that'll be good. Uh, I'm wondering maybe if we can use Mistcraft to find a world with a lot of this stuff, though. Because uh, it's going to be hard to collect as much as I want we just look for it normally. So maybe we'll try to generate a few worlds later and see if we can get one with marble in abundance or something. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> so turns out there's a little bit more to this than I originally thought. <laughs> it's not just a 3x3 three three multi-block structure. It's a 3x3x4 three three at the minimum. You can go up to a 5x5x4. Five by five by uh, we're just going to do a 3x3 three three, though. So that means 36 farm blocks, not just 9. So I made those. And we're also going to need a couple tools here. So, cool little trick. Not everybody knows about this, but it's something you should. You can, for a lot of machines, you can just right-click it if you need to put, like, water or lava in it. So that's what I'm doing here. Because we need a soldering iron. That takes water, iron, and bronze. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. Oh yeah, you gotta put the materials there. I forgot about that. It's been so long since I did anything with forestry. <laughs> this was like one of my favorite mods though in the past. Like first one I ever used was IC2, and then the second one was forestry. And I I don't know why. I just love making biomass. <laughs> biomass is by far my favorite source of power. I don't know why. Okay, we got that, and we also need a integrated circuit I believe so let's do that I feel like this area almost has too much water like maybe I should build build it up a little bit like you see how we got only one thick water here maybe I should fill this in with dirt like from here all the way there and just kind of reduce the amount of water we see I think that might be a good idea because then we can do more building in the area too if we got more land yeah, this is a good spot here, I would say. So, let's start the building our farm. Um, 
the very bottom, we will do the gearbox. That's for the power. Something just blew up. <laughs> I figured out what those random explosions are. It's the creeper plant seeds, I'm pretty sure. Let's do gearbox. Then... Let's just get all our things here. We're going to do... Mm, maybe... Farm control on the sides then. Like so. And higher up, let's do a hatch. Oops. Hatch on all the sides. Like so. I'm going to put four, one on each side just so we have the option. And then maybe a valve in the corner. Although I got to fill this in. Wait a sec. <laughs> Before I do that, farm blocks. You use farm blocks for any filler, filler spots here. Do the valves. Uh, the middle has to be farm blocks, like the center of the structure. And the second layer from the top, so this layer here also has to be solid farm blocks. Or maybe I should have put them on the top. Ah, it's too late now. <laughs> Who cares? If we do it underneath, we can hide a lot of stuff. Is that complete? Looks good. Okay, let's try this again. Manage farm. Infernal. Oh, if you do a full-blown circuit board, do you got to fill every single one of these? It's not going to let me do that, is it? Oh, I did do it. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Quadruple Infernal Farm. Can't beat that. Where do I stick you in? Over there. Got it. So it seems you can mix and match different farms. I accidentally put four Infernal Tubes in here. <laughs> So it's all nether wart, but we could, for example, have a wheat farm, tree farm, nether wart farm, and probably a pumpkin farm if we wanted, all controlled by this one multi-block structure. So I might change that out later. Um, but I do want to do stuff with drones and golems and stuff, so our future farms might not use this anyway. Uh, but then we throw in our nether wart, soul sand. It says we don't need water for nether wart, which makes sense got fertilizer down here. I did hook up water though in case we do want to farm other stuff. Just an aqueous accumulator going into one of those valves. And then I got power underneath here going up to the gearbox. And we can disable different sections with the, the controller here. I don't know if I'll actually use that. And now to actually finish up the farm. I'm a little confused. I think we got to put down stone brick perhaps. Nothing's happening. <laughs> uh, what do you want? No farmland. Oh. Oh, it found farmland, I think. That warning just disappeared. Did it not? Oh, yes, it did. It definitely did. Look at this. Piggy. Piggy, look what I did. You are impressed. Yes. <laughs> Come closer. Look. Very cool, right? Uh-huh. He likes it. I wonder why it didn't fill in all the spots, So is, is it doing a checkerboard pattern? Almost seems like it is, right? I gotta get more soul sand. Uh, it only checks it so often, probably. So, I built this one block too high. <laughs> Maybe I can fill in the area with dirt and make it look like it's bright. Because uh, we got hills all around, kind of. Whoops. Oh, now it's starting to fill it in. Okay, just takes a little bit of time. Ho ho, look at this, guys. This farm is crazy. I'm going to have so many warts. Best day of my life. <laughs> uh, the screenshots I saw showed that it could only go a radius of four blocks, though, with a 3x3, three three, and six blocks with a 5x5 five five farm. But look at this. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm I've just been like testing it. So we could like do probably here, 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 all the way around. Like I have I'm not even utilizing all the space here and look how big it is. So many warts. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh man. Okay, so we're gonna let that run for a while. We'll be able to get our warts, and I'm very happy about that. Uh for the rest of this episode, let's just go do a little bit more exploring today as well. 
Uh, we didn't really get to do much with Mistcraft last time, so we'll do a world or two uh, today again. Bumblemore? Did I miss him? He's gone. <laughs> uh, I was very sad about the custom NPCs. I read that there wasn't going to be any new versions until 1.8, but it sounds like there might be one more update at least before that. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully that fixes their walking because it's a bit uh, choppy right now. You see how they kind of stutter when they walk? I'm hoping that gets fixed. Okay, you think I'd remember how to do this? <laughs> linking book, or linking p page, panel, whatever. And then we need paper, right? Let's grab a couple pieces of paper. We're just going to make a random world again. Put the linking page in. No. It's got to go first. Oh yeah, we didn't need a random one, did we? I also wanted to test if you can put these on bookshelves. Because that would be great. Oh, you can. Excellent. Very cool. Oh, I made two descriptives. Whoops. <laughs> Wait a second. Before I trap myself, let's just do one more. And we need a piece of leather, right? Ah! Garbage in my inventory. Do it quickly. Ah! <laughs> so annoying. Alright. Oh, no, no. I don't want to throw that away, though. I need that. Wait a second. There we go. Okay. So, so difficult. And there. Good. So let's set our, our place here. And somebody actually gave me a good tip. They said to bring two of those with you. So you place one at your spawn and then you carry one with you. But I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, all right. Let's go check it out. And why do I have, oh, I thought that said fart <laughs> in my bar. It's like, what was I searching? It's fart. Look at this world. This is really cool. Oh, man. I don't like it, but it's really cool. <laughs> this is a very interesting way of doing the nether. It's, it's got void and sky, so it's a bit trippy. But I like it. Uh, we're not going to get what we want here, though, so I don't, I don't think we'll stay here long. What are these? Is this that blue glowstone stuff? Miscraft. Let's take a few. I might want them for later. Huh. This is an interesting variation of the nether, though, for sure. And we got these again. I saw these in the previous world. I don't know what the deal is with them. I think it might be a random type of generation. Oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> Like a structure that randomly generates and maybe forms out of random blocks. I don't know. Um, you guys will have to let me know. Is it even possible to get marble in a world? Like a lot of marble or a page for marble? Because I'm not sure. I'm guessing it would be. Because in that previous world we saw... Yeah, I think we're going to get out of here. There's only one biome as far as I can tell. Oh, we're lagging. <laughs> I might keep this world, though. I like this a little bit better than my current nether. Oh, man. Ouch. Ouch. And we're out. Good. <laughs> okay, we got a poison world. We're getting out of here. Right now. Let me out. Let me out. Whew. <laughs> I don't like the poison worlds. All right, we got another world here, guys. This one looks pretty cool, but it's got a few problems. <laughs> we are under hunger and weakness. I really don't like the hunger one because I work hard for my food. So I want to get out of here pretty quick. What happened to my hang glider, guys? <laughs> it's just gone. I can't find it. Um, so it's like a checker world. Checker pattern biomes. There's some sky islands. See, we saw Acacia Sky Island before. So I'm wondering if we could get, like, marble islands or something like that. I'm going to have to eat here. Wasting my food. There's blizzes. Which I really want to kill. Because <laughs> they drop uh, some hard-to-get stuff. Oh, are they killing the, the deer? Stupid blizzes. Oh, that's one of those skeletons. Let's get out of here. <laughs> 
Oh man, I like that sound. Um, what else was there? I thought I saw... Yeah, penguins! We got penguins in here! It'd be such a cool world. <laughs> but nope, we gotta get out. Gotta get out right now. Before we die. Um, it's weird, because there's also a desert. Like, that's a desert flower over there. <laughs> it's a mix of snow and desert. Oh, and that's marble. Alright, let's get out. But anyways, guys, we should probably wrap up our episode for today. So here is the comment I picked out. It says, Mistcraft is very dangerous indeed. I'm just waiting to see Etho accidentally trap himself in a world due to that a book have despawned or gets destroyed. Does it despawn? I know rain can kill a book if it's on the ground. And he does like the... Look at that. Um, look at that face. I don't like that face. <laughs> it's like a troll face. The only way back from that is MC Edit. So I am pretty scared about that. <laughs> is that true though? Like I, I would think, I would think, guys, we would be able to make a portal to the Nether in a Mistcraft world. Can you not? Like if there's lava and water, we can make a portal, go to the Nether, then make another portal in the Nether, and that should take us back here, right? Or something? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe resources are so limited that that's not possible always, though. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, so something I don't know if I've mentioned before. If you guys ever want, where is it? Lines, world lines. You see this? We got room for all these one-liners with the NPCs. So if you want to make up something for him to say, he'll just randomly say a line here, right? Um, if you want to come up with some dialogue for our NPCs, though, feel free. Leave it in the comments. Just a short one-liner, just a few words, and try to try to give it some personality, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, feel free to do that because we got a lot of NPCs that don't that aren't really saying anything right now. And if there's any projects you want me to, to work on in the future, let me know as well. Uh, but that's gonna be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.